Clay Collins is gonna answer your questions. There it is, there it is. There it is. <laughs> start hiring the best freaking people you possibly can the second you've found something that works. So here at Lead Pages, video was crushing it for us when we first started. So what we would do is every time we'd launch a template, we, I, I would record a video, you might have seen them in front of a freaking stairwell, and I would talk through the template, why it worked, how it worked, any split test results we had around it, and we'd give that template away. And that was working really well for growing our email list and, and growing the business and growing sales of the product. And the second that I knew that it worked, I went on a journey to hire uh, Jeff over here. And, there, and, and we're doing a much better job of that than, than I ever was. So I think your, your job as the leader of your business is to find patterns that work and then find the very best people that you possibly can to scale them and uh, expand them and create new patterns of their own. So the main problem that, or the main mistake I see so many entrepreneurs making is that they prematurely scale something that just isn't gonna fly. So let's take automated webinars, for example. A lot of times uh, people will do a webinar once, decide that they wanna automate it, and step away to do something else. And I think that's a mistake, or like maybe they'll hire someone else to do their webinars. So I probably did, I don't know, 300 lead pages webinars before we hired uh, Tim Page to take over webinars and education and, and, and that kind of content. And had I hired him when I had only done five webinars, there's no question uh, that, that we wouldn't be as successful as we are today with our webinars. So I think that, um, I think the main thing is that one, you find out that something's gonna work before you hire someone to do it. Two, hire the very best people that you can. Don't try and go you know, overseas and charge as little as you, as, as you possibly can. And the third thing that I'd uh, encourage you to do is not have this mindset of getting things off your plate. I think that's kind of like energetically weird, right? So if you have a bunch of stuff that you just freaking hate doing and you have this mindset of just ugh, like I just wanna like transfer this crap from my sphere of influence to someone else's, I don't think that's a very nice thing to do, first of all, and I, and I don't think it's a very enlightened thing to do. What I'd encourage you to realize is that the stuff that you hate to do, there's someone in this world that has turned that into an art, that's figured out how to automate it and scale it and add so much value to the process that it actually becomes a profit center in your business. So I'd say, say the, three, the, so the three to four rules of thumb are like one, make sure something's working before you automate it. Two, get, get craftspeople to do the work. Don't get people that, that are just gonna do the, the, cheapest, uh, the cheapest work. And the next thing is don't get stuff off your plate because I don't think you're going to end up with a scalable solution when you do that and you're not gonna make anyone happy.